five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is the Ramble, and it goes from now until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time, right here on GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. And it's good to have you here, uh, and uh, uh, Marjorie is not here tonight because um, uh, she doesn't want to be, uh, So, uh, and she probably won't be anymore, uh, but she just uh, doesn't like doing this uh, thing, so uh, we're not, she's not here. Uh, because uh, she doesn't like you anymore. No, no, she just doesn't want to do it. So I, I'm not going to force her to do it, and I'm not going to beg her to do it. And, uh, you know, that leaves me with a lot of time to fill for the first half hour of this show, so I'm not going to do that. I'm probably going to, at some point here, go to the actual phones and things like that. Uh, you know, uh, I really have to apologize to everybody because in the last... Uh, a couple of, uh, I have to look over and do things because I'm operating everything here. I'm bottle washing and the whole deal. Um, uh, I, um, I have to apologize for the last couple of nights, uh, but they've been getting me really depressed, okay? Um, and and here, here's, here's the reason why. Skype, which is owned by Microsoft, are real fucking assholes, all right? They're assholes because, number one, they're incompetent at what they do. And what they're supposed to do is to create a program that is uh, easy for people to use and isn't a problem for people to use, and yet we rely on this program to do ours. Uh, we have a thing called the Citizen Panel, and I learned years ago, when we were looking for a way to take phone calls on the show, I didn't want to phone up the phone company and say, put in four lines for me and people can call. Because that was too expensive to begin with. And that was the old way of doing things. Wait, I better turn on the light so at least she won't be mad at me for saying that she doesn't love you. Uh, anyway, uh, so um, I, I found this thing called Skype. And I said, this really, you know, this will this will solve the problem. And hey, what? I, I don't have to take a call at a time. I can take one, two, three, four. Up to, at that time, I think it was up to like 10 calls at a time. And we were going to do audio only, but because it was video, I could see the people. So it made it more bearable to do a group discussion. You know, there's nothing worse than a group discussion where uh, people are talking over each other and everything. So I made the rule, hey, if you want to talk, raise your hand and I'll recognize you. Some people adhere to that rule. Other people don't adhere to that rule at all. But Patrick, thank you so much. Patrick has never failed to raise his hand when he wants to talk. He knows the rule, okay? And there's several other people the same way. Jeff is the same way. Then there's several people who don't. I won't say who they are, but they know who they are. But raising the hand made it easier. And so it made this idea of a citizen panel, which had never been done on radio before, uh, it gave it a real ability at, at uh, being really a major um, a thing for us to do because we could accomplish it. We could accomplish having 10 people on at a time and not having a big log jam and so on. Well, what I did on... Uh, on Friday nights is uh, I had a thing I was on called, called live stream. We're not with them anymore, um, mainly because I've had machines completely go bad using their stuff. Uh, and uh, I um, and of course I complained to them about it. And of course, the reply from any technology company when you tell them, "Hey, your your thing I think broke my thing," right? Is no, no, we can't see how that happens with our product. Okay, all right. Um, so anyway, so I, uh, I I used to on Friday nights just 
do a video kind of representation of it because they had a little program I could use, and I could put the the Skype screen on there. Okay, so that that was simple, uh, and it was very easy because and the Skype screen, you know, um, manifested itself on onto your screen, and and we watched everybody talk to each other, and that was nice, and then. Somebody said, well, why don't you go over and do this at, uh, at uh, then Facebook. Yeah, Facebook came up with a thing where you could, like, put your video on Facebook. And I went around looking for programs that I could use with Facebook. And there was a thing called OBS. And I started using Facebook to do the program live every night with all the people. And what I could do is I could take the Skype screen and I could isolate it and then make it the screen you saw on screen, Okay. Um, and uh, it was a, that was a very simple thing to do, and all I do is answer the calls. When people would want to join the group, there was a thing that came down that said, do you want them to join the group, and you pressed on that, and they were immediately folded into the other people who were calling. So all very simple, and with a very good program. Skype was, Skype was great for several reasons. Uh, one of the major reasons it was terrific was because it was so simple. I mean, people didn't have to jump through hoops to figure out how to use uh, uh, Skype. Uh, you know, you just turned it on, you, you know, went active with it, and then if I said Gabnet Live is our address, you'd simply type in Gabnet Live, and uh, that you called it, and then you were on. It was very simple. And very intuitive, you know. Well, you know, as with most companies, they think we can do it better. All right, we can, we can, we can make things better. So they came out with the new Skype, and the new Skype sucks. It just sucks. You know, I think that the main thing, if you have something for the average public, and I'm not talking about kids, I'm talking about the average public. Old people, young people, people in the middle. If you have a program that's simple, then that's terrific, all right? That's really great. Uh, and that's, that's, the, um, uh, that's, that's the sum total of it, that it, it, it should be simple, and it should be simple to use. And the old Skype was easy peasy. I mean, it was just very easy to use. So anyway... They decide to come out with this new Skype, and it's it's it, to begin with, it's ugly. All right, it only where before you could, if you had like ten people, twelve people calling you, all twelve people would fit on the screen. They put them all on the screen. With this one, it only puts four people on the screen at a time, and if you want to see one of the people who's talking, you have to grab it, move it down, and also. Uh, people don't know where to go to check on their camera. And, and they just, you know, it's very difficult for the average person to negotiate because it's not intuitive. And one of the reasons I think it's not intuitive is because of these companies, the people who put together this, uh, these, these pieces of, uh, of software are like, you know, I don't know, f physicists or whatever. I don't know what they do. They're geniuses. And they have no idea how, how the average person would use it or what they would find vexing. They go, oh, everything looks great here. Look, there are little bubbles at the top of the screen. To begin with, I hate those bubbles at the top of the screen on the new Skype. And the re, re, you know, every time somebody else calls, you get another bubble. And imagine, they can take up to 32, maybe 64 people now at a time if you want to, okay? And, and you got those little bubbles Imagine how many bubbles there will be <laughs> across that screen. But the bubbles are laid on top of the people that are already one of the four chosen people to be in the main grid. It's not like you could say, okay, listen, uh, 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 Skype, uh, I want to be able to put 10 people on my screen at the same time. And then they would apportion that out for you. No. No. They just say, you get four, that's it. And then if you want to see one of those people, you have to drag them down and, and make them one of the four large people. 
None of this is, I, I don't expect any of you to get this because none of this, none of this is intuitive. Okay? So the one, so then I, I for the longest time used the old Skype. I, I used it till I finally you couldn't use it anymore because they they forced you not to use it. You just it, a thing came up and said if you want to keep using Skype you have to upgrade. That's it, you know. And there were people who had workarounds and we used those for a while. But eventually one day that ran out. Um, and there was so there was a problem with the new. So you say, well, what's the problem with the new Skype? I mean, couldn't you just put that? whole screen on the screen, and the answer is no, because the program I'm using and all programs that I would use, that I would do that with in the old days, I can't do it with now, because uh, the screen just won't come up. It comes up white, okay? So you got to have some way to take all the people that are there and put them on the screen at the same time like we used to, uh, and somebody at the place called New Tech, a company I used to have a close association with years ago, came up with a thing uh, called NDI, okay? And what NDI is, is it takes all the individual callers and it allows you to make them a separate picture on the screen, okay? It's a little more complicated than the old days where I just did the whole screen and Skype did it for me by just mushing everybody in as they got, we got more and more people. But it looks, it looks really good. It looks phenomenal. Okay, so that was one problem solved. The other problem that I couldn't solve was there was no way to bring people into the group without calling them, okay? And then all of a sudden, one day, I, I don't know why, uh, Skype in their graciousness Created, there are like three little dots you get at the top of the screen. One is, uh, I think, uh, hang up. Uh, one is uh, cam microphone, and one is camera. And they added another one. It's a gray button. And what the gray button does is you can click on that, and the person is then automatically added to the group. So I could do it like I used to do it, okay, by adding people that way. And that was fine until a couple of weeks ago when there was an upgrade to Skype. And I don't know what the guys at Skype did, but now that doesn't work anymore. You click on that, and all of a sudden it says, uh, missed call. You missed uh, Ray Renati or whatever. On Ray Renati's side, it, he gets a thing that says, you don't have enough bandwidth. So then what I have to do is I then have to go and go into a little plus sign that's up there. See, I mean, this is all very intuitive, isn't it? Huh? Can you do it? Uh, push the plus sign, and then I'll see Ray Renati's name. I will click on that. Then I go up and I push add, and it calls him. And if I'm lucky, he picks up. Or in some cases, they don't pick up because they don't know what the fuck's going on. You getting what I'm saying here? It all becomes very confusing. It, they, it, and uh, uh, Al K here says, micro stuff really ruined a great product again. Yes, absolutely. I mean, rather than take what they had and then build on that and improve on that, they had to fuck with it. So what has happened on this program as a result is every night I've got some kind of fire to put out. Uh, and uh, last night, for in, and so I find that on an average show, if we have a, uh, 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 let's see here, a two-hour show, uh, f 20 minutes of, that sh of the show are taken up with solving the technical problems that Skype has created, all right? Well, Alex, why don't you just get a hold of Skype and tell them, you know, that they, uh, they did something that changed the way the program operates, and I did do that, and I have been in contact with them, and I, I get the same thing. Oh, we're looking into it. The engineers are pouring over it right now even as we speak. But none of them want to admit they fucked up, and somewhere in that upgrade, this whole thing changed. So I spend my time putting out what I call technical fires, and then, then we have somebody like Ray last night who... Uh, somehow can't get a screen uh, uh, with anybody on there but his own picture. 
So now he's talking about that. I can't get a picture. Anybody know how I can get a picture? Okay, and I'm not blaming, blaming Ray for that. Ray wants to play the game like anybody else. But he never had that problem before, okay? He's only got it with this new Skype. Hey, fuck. So then we're spending 10 minutes with Ray turning himself on, turning himself off, ba 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 The other night, Jeff calls the show. I then do the thing with the callback thing, but he doesn't know what that's about. And so he keeps trying to call in, and I keep trying to call him back. There's another five minutes. Now, I'm not, again, not blaming Jeff. Jeff is an older guy. Jeff shouldn't have to really know how to use Skype. Skype should know, let him know intuitively how to use it. Hey, there's a button that says camera. I guess that turns my camera on, you know, boom. That's, a, that's for calling, boom. You know, one or two little things you do to get yourself on, and then it works seamlessly. You don't go on and all of a sudden you don't say pictures of anybody else. So th th this is the problem that I've been having. And I, and I apologize for it because every night it's another problem. Now, about a week ago, I had another problem, and it was the machine that I was using was constantly fucking up on me. It was, it was constantly going down. Uh, it would reboot itself. I couldn't do a full show. And it was terrible. It was just absolutely terrible. And so I sent the thing. This was a machine I had fixed, and it didn't have this problem before I had it fixed. And I sent it down to Houston. Uh, they sent it down to Houston, the Apple store. And they, they supposedly have fixed it. And the first thing that happened last night when I turned it on is it crashed. But uh, I don't know that that was in some residual something in the program that I had been using. And I'm using it now. But I, you know, it rebooted itself. And since then... Wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me run the other room. I'll tell you for sure. I'll be right back. Just don't go anywhere. Just stay right there. It's still running, and it's been running over 24 hours. So if it makes it till tomorrow morning... Uh, I'm going to put it into service here and put it back into service. And, you, and I hope it doesn't crash on me, <laughs> okay? But if it does, that, that'll be the last straw. So anyway, so I'm just apologizing to you for all that we had going on last night with uh, trying, to, uh, uh, trying to solve this problem and, and the other nights of trying to solve the problem. And it's all because of Skype. It's all because of Microsoft. It's not because of me. All I want to do is I want to come in here. I want to turn on my little switching program. I want to talk to you a little bit. I want to play some interviews. I then want to go to the citizen panel. I want to have a good time. I just want to do a good show. But I can't do that. And this is getting to the point where this isn't fun for me anymore. So today, uh, you know, I always go... What is going to be the crisis of the day, all right? So today, I'm tr I, I, I do what I call posting my shows every day. I post all the shows so they go to the on-demand and they go to uh, um, uh, Fios, uh, not Fios, to, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Roku. Uh, and they go to U iTunes uh, and they sh show up on Spotify. And it's all done because I make out this thing called an XML file that has all the information about the shows and where the audio is and so on. Well, I do the first one, which is, is the exchange uh, with um, Damian Chaplin, and then I go to do mine, and it won't, it won't connect with the server to send the stuff over. So now I'm on the phone with this server up in Canada, which I've got to stop using. Uh, but it's just so much trouble. When you want to take a, uh, a show that you're podcasting and you want to change where it comes from, you have to go through a lot to change that, okay? Just plain and simple, uh, especially with where iTunes is concerned. It's harder with iTunes. I could, I could probably change it with everything else. Uh, that wouldn't be a problem. But iTunes is a, is a big, big problem. Um, so anyway... Uh, so I call them, 
And I say, what's wrong? And they go, oh, well, you, you don't have the uh, new, uh, you're not, you, you don't have your name server set in the right direction. I'm not going to explain what this is because I could barely understand it, but I managed to figure it out and do it, okay? And I still couldn't upgrade myself because when I send stuff up, it goes up to uh, what's called an FTP server. I'm FTPing it, the File Transfer Protocol is what it stands for. And I have to use that FTP to put these files up there so the rest of the world and you can see it. You can see it on our on-demand on gabnet.net and so on. So now I'm having to do this all by hand. By, so it turns out that there's something wrong. And it'll take us close, it'll take us at least two days to solve it. I went, fuck you. You know, uh, and I, I did a workaround, so you will see if you go to GabNet tonight that all the programs are there. But what I had to do to get it there was amazing. Uh, they, they, my Radio Free Jack, which is another site I've had for years, uh, wasn't coming up. And the reason it wasn't coming up, because nobody wrote me from this fucking company that I had to do something at the name server. Or put a new name server on uh, Network Solutions, which carries all the web sites and you know, is, is the um, facilitator of, of the web sites. And it has to say where you go to resolve this. And so I've, that's all done now. But I'm still not. That FTP isn't working. And if you go over to uh, gabnet.net, uh, those things, those files those where my uh, life story is and over where uh, the shows are, uh, takes a lot longer than usual to come up. They will come up eventually, or if they don't, refresh again and they will come up. But it's because it's not resolving alexbennett.com that fast. Okay, it will, but it's not now. But none of this, none of this do they tell me. You know, nobody, nobody sent out a memo saying, to all people who have this, or if you have this, you better do this. And here's how you do it. No, they just said, oh, well, you know, it's not it's just not, it's not your IP address anymore. That's not your, you know, not, not with the name server at, uh, at uh, Network Solutions. And I'm going, why didn't you tell me this? You know, why did I have to find out by calling you? And why, all of a sudden, was I able to do the exchange with um, our good friend uh, Damian Chaplin, why was it able to post that? And after that, not able to post anything else. It's because something went hinky up at their server. And I've got to wait two days? Somebody said, I called back later, and they said, uh, it may take six hours. Uh, and I'm still waiting. It's still not, hasn't resolved itself. So, you know, this is just... Uh, you know, and so it was just another thing. And I'm just going, how many of this, these things have to happen? You know, first it's the machine breaking, then it's the Skype not working, and it's the, the, the server up in Canada is fucked up. And I'm thinking of putting all my stuff. I really should put all my stuff on, on GoDaddy because I found them to at least be... Uh, they're not as, as maddening. They, they're, they, they don't fuck up as much. And if they're going to make a change, they tell you what the change is going to be. Uh, but I just, you know, I just, it, it's just amazing, just absolutely amazing uh, what I have to do here. And so I don't want to complain to you about all of this, but I got I to gotta get it off my chest. And I got to apologize for the lack of, 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 uh, doing a good program here. I did learn, though, that if I take my little uh, my little thing where I have my video of me and I put it right up above the under the camera, I'm always looking at the camera, which is rather nice. But now I'm moving it down there, see, and then I'm, I'm looking down there. Anyway, let me uh, let me open up Skype here. This will this is always an adventure too. You know, they really built a terrible program here. And, and I don't know anybody, anybody who likes it. It's kind of like the, the, the current people who all hate uh, the new game, the final Game of Thrones, which I think is fine, you know. I, uh, I, I like it a lot. Uh, but then again, I'm just an old fart, right, you know, folks? And 
That's the way it goes. Well, anyway, I, I've got the uh, I've got the Skype active, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Um, if anybody wants to call, and then I have to go through a whole process. It, it isn't as difficult though, where I have to make up a, put a name into each tile that goes up. So you know, um, um, wait a minute, where is? Where where cancel? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Why is this not? Oh, I see. Okay. All right. I'm I'm I'm. Excuse me. I'm just. I'm so punchy from all of this today. You know. Today I said I was going to rest. You know. I was going to take it easy. And then tomorrow I've got uh, uh, my friend uh, Albert is coming to stay for a week, and uh, I'm in no mood to put up with anybody or do anything. I just want to go hide somewhere. Uh, because all of this has just gotten to me. But anyway, we're, we're, we're waiting for people to call, and uh, that's always... Uh, oh, there we go. Well, it's the first guy always is, is, is Phil, and let me take Phil, and uh, let me... Uh, I'll, just, I'll just leave him where he is from last night, because uh, it looks good there. There he is, right over there. Hello, Phil. How are you? Hey, you know, I know that if I call in early, it's easier for you. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yep. And now you don't that, have to call me back. Now there's Charlie, and now I have to call Charlie back. Oh, no, Charlie, it, for some reason, Charlie uh, has been added, and even he oh. in the spot he was at last night, you know. Maybe <laughs> Skype fixed the uh, thing based no, they on did, your recommendations. They, I did, they didn't fix anything. I think the fact that he is legacy, maybe it makes it easier. You know, it still mm -hmm. said that he missed the call. Did you get any message that uh, uh, that you didn't have the bandwidth this time, Charlie? No, I didn't get that. I came oh. right in. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. So All anyway, right. that's 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 life. That's the way it it, uh, it goes, folks. And uh, wow. You know, it's just one thing after another, and now I've got this problem with the uh, with the you know with the on-demand stuff and everything and the problem there. Uh, but you know, uh, I, what I what a box what, of chocolate. Well, what, what bothers me is that what kind of a company are you running up there when you when you change the way people do things and you don't write them and say here's how it changed. You know that they have to inform you. I was informed before that I couldn't use uh, alexbennett.com in the in the posting thing. I had to use the IP address. So they gave me an IP address to use, but that IP address no longer works. Oh, God. But you know, they, when you got a credit card and they change the terms, they send you a letter. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So anyway, I'm a little out of sync tonight, but it's not terrible. So. Yeah. I don't care if I'm out of sync. Any, anyway, so my machine, I've had it on for over 24 hours, knock on wood, and it hasn't crashed. It crashed the first minute I turned it on. I went and turned something on, and it crashed. I think it was a legacy crash is what it was. But mm -hmm. then since then, it hasn't crashed at all. No, that's There great. was some kind of crash to a program at 2.10 last night, which I found on the, in the logs, uh, but it's nothing that crashed the whole system. So, you yeah. Know. So, so, I, so I'm I'm going to probably put it into 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 place this weekend, and uh, hope that uh, we can do a show next week without it crashing on me. You know. Yeah. So, so far, it, it's been pretty solid. That that's not wood, actually, is it? You know, it's got formica on top of wood. Looks like wood. <laughs> it's wood uh, underneath. Uh, yeah. Fake wood. Uh, yeah, so uh, Tuesday's your WPLJ thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got T-shirts or anything from those days? That, no. Uh, no. That, no? No. No? No? No bling? No? No. Uh, no. I, I never, you know, I never had a, uh, a it's funny, uh, you know, sometimes I'll wax poetic about certain things I've done in my career, and I really don't give a shit about that. <laughs> I really don't. And, and I am... Uh, legacy for that radio station. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you ask Damien if there's any crap in your room and have him overnight it, you know, just to no, get you I a hat. I, I know I don't have any WPLJ stuff. I, no. I just don't, period. That's it. Huh. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. I would think even with those concerts in the park and all of those things that... Uh, no, you know what I didn't even keep? I'll tell you what I didn't what? keep. There was a thing called the, uh, and you know about this, uh, the good guy sweatshirts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the good guy sweatshirts were, uh, what happened was a station WMCA that I work for called themselves the good guys, and they had this, sweat, this sweatshirt. With this, it what I think was the precursor of the smiley face. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it basically, it was a big oh, kind of oval. I have one. I should have worn it tonight, or maybe I'll wear it next week. Um, it's not an original. It's a uh, yeah. It's a uh, modern day mock up. I had an original, but I don't know what happened to well, it. Well, it wouldn't have fit me anyway. Here's what happened. I didn't think twice about that shit. Right, yeah. so I'm I have a W I had a WMCA good guy sweatshirt that was specifically yeah. made for the good guys, and the reason right. it was specifically made for the good guys is it had a zipper right here. That was probably for Frankie Crocker. N no, 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 no. Why he would had he had that big afro? Well, no, it was for the, it was for hair. Yeah, it was so. Hold on a second. Got to put Jason on. I don't know. I think I'll have to call Jason back. Um, Try the ad first. Oh, wait a minute. People Work. are coming back wow. on. He came in. This is this is like this is like a a a a, 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 a dream come true. Huh? A Paso a Passover you. miracle. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I guess that's who you are. Uh, let me see here. There there he is. There's there's Jason. Hi, Jason. How's it going? Oh, it's, you know, it's been better. Uh, anyway, so the point I'm making is, is that, so I have this, this uh, uh, T-shirt, sweatshirt. I did not think to keep it. I didn't care about the fucking thing. You know, it was yeah. another one of those, they give away a million of these sweatshirts. And by the way, they never charged for a single one. They were all given away free. You had wow. to win one. That's why if you had one, you were special because you won it. Right. Now, it, Terrell Matheny gave me mine. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm I, sure I could have had as many as I wanted. Yeah. But I didn't think twice about them because I didn't have that whole legacy thing. I was, in fact, technically, I was the last good guy. That's correct. Uh, and the reason I say that is they had this thing. They, the guys, the jocks were called the WMCA good guys. Right. And um, you know who invented that? Uh, that was Ruth. Was that Ruth? Ruth Meyer. Ruth, Ruth Myers. Yeah. yeah. Um, but believe it or not, I wasn't there for Ruth Meyer. She had already no. left by the time yeah, you I were got there, there for Terrell Matheny. I was there for Terrell Matheny. Anyway, yeah. people don't know who we're talking about. But anyway, the point I'm making is that I um, I, I did this. Um, I, I uh, what was where was I going with this? Uh, uh, the you were the last good guy. Oh, I was the last good guy. What happened was when I got there, I was brought in as a talk show host, and they gave me an overnight talk show that went. Yeah, they from, went half talk, half music. Yeah, half the day was talk, half the t day was music, which in a way kind of makes weird sense, you know. That in the morning at ten o'clock they would start playing music. They play music till ten o'clock at night. And then Barry Gray would go on, do his talk show. And after Barry Gray was over, I went on till 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Alternating. I was on four nights a week, and uh, Leon Lewis was on three nights a week. Okay? Uh, and we were brought in as talk show hosts. Well, um, I started on weekends playing music for them because I like doing, you know, jocking a show. And I, on Saturday nights, I would come in. And at 7 o'clock till, I think it was 10 o'clock, I would do a, a music show. Um, then they did away with the good guys when that happened. They stopped calling them the good guys. And then all of a sudden, one day, they decided they basically wanted to go back to music. But they were going to keep my talk show overnight. And they were going to keep Barry Gray's talk show. Because Barry Gray had always been on that station, even when it was a rock station. Barry Gray was probably one of the one of the best talk show hosts I've ever heard in my life, and uh, my mentor until he my turned. My buddy was the doorman for him, yeah. So because when he had his guests, he had to let them in. Well, also, was Maurice Tunick was the doorman for him. Uh, yeah. And Maurice Tunick wound up being the producer for Sally, Jesse, Raphael, and now to this day is over at Sirius XM. Anyway, the point I'm making, uh, 
We don't need to hear how many people you know. Uh, what you do? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 what happened was they so they went to you know because I was playing music some of the time. They made me. They brought back the good guys, and the term the good guy. And they made me a good guy. And I was the only guy in the group who hadn't been a good guy prior to that. Does this make sense? Yeah. So technically, that makes me the last good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, you're doing your best to, yeah. you know, sully the name good guy. Yeah, well, <laughs> well no, no, but here's what happened. I was always kind of a little on the nasty side. Yeah. Right? So they had me do this spot. And the spot went, hi, this is good guy Alex Bennett. And I said, I can't say this. I said, <laughs> it goes against my persona. Persona. <laughs> yeah. And they said, okay. And I said, how about this? Hi, my name's Alex Bennett. Some people call me a good guy. Okay. And that, that, sol that solved the problem. But... Mm. Uh, uh, that what about the sound bit you guys had at Sirius? It was like the good guys and motherfuckers. Did that have anything to do with that, or good guys and motherfuckers? What? Yeah, it was a sound yeah. bit that you did, like at the beginning, you yeah. know, when you came back from commercial or something. I don't know. Ask uh, ask ask Albert when he's here next week. Uh, so that probably had nothing to do with the good guys of that then, right? No, I don't think so. What about the? And here's Alex Bennett. The man you love to hate. Well, that was from Houston, Texas. <laughs> that was. You Houston, also Texas. used that in San Francisco. No, I didn't. Uh, wasn't there a billboard? No. Uh, no. 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 I, I I seem to remember a billboard or a bus thing. You know, love them, hate them. No. Well, that, no. What it said. Some people. Uh, uh, what, what was it? It was. Uh, it was the first ad I came up with. It was. Uh, um, oh. Some, Alex Bennett, he's oh, back on Oh, meds. I know, this was it. You just, you just, you just <laughs> popped my head here. Yeah. It was Alex Bennett's Not For Everyone was, huh. the, was, the, uh, was the slogan. And then we had buttons, Alex Bennett's For Me or I Hate Alex Bennett. Yeah. Right, okay. I remember Alex some... Bennett's Not For Me. I may have yeah. still have some of them here. Uh, but that was, that was what that was about. We never did Man You Love to Hate. That was, that was Houston, Texas. That was them... Uh -huh. Uh, the original man you love to hate, oddly enough, was an actor by the name of Eric von Stroheim, who always played bad guys in the movies, and they called yeah. him the man you love to hate. He was also one of the greatest directors that ever lived. So. Yeah, I, I at Camel, I, I made for you and myself, and I think Susan uh, these custom-made T-shirts that uh, that had a record on the front and said, uh, "I don't take no requests." That was my first slogan when I yeah. first, yeah. Uh, I don't take no requests because uh, people would say, yeah. "Would you play something for me? This for me, or that for me?" And I just, I don't take requests, you know. Well, there was a good reason why. And then there was this big, building tall sign off the freeway of me yeah. pointing. It's, it was a drawing, and yeah. saying, "I don't take no requests." Oh, uh, okay. I, Even, I, I didn't like them advertising me though. I, yeah. I hated the ad campaigns, and here's why I hated them. Ratings were good. Ad yeah. campaign comes along, and all of a sudden, the ratings disappear. I don't know why. Every time they did an ad campaign on me, <laughs> you know, I was through. Well, I saw what you looked like, and it ruined the persona. <laughs> no, yeah. it wasn't that. I don't know. We tried everything. The one that really, really killed my audience was uh, Alex Bennett. Uh, happy, back on meds. Ha no, uh, <laughs> uh, happy, in love, and medicated. That was the that was the ad yeah. with a big <laughs> the with end, a though. big with a big smiley face on it. Yeah, uh, and that one did, that one really killed the audience. You know, so I when they when they come to me and say, "Well, I'm doing another ad campaign," I forget it. I don't want another ad, no more ad campaigns. Okay, uh, they just don't they don't do right by me. Is anybody else going to call this program tonight, or is it going to be the uh, three of us? I mean, I love it because Jason isn't here all yeah. the time because his wife doesn't let him out <laughs> because he's pussy whipped. But anyway, you admit to that, don't you, Jason? 
Yep, and I still got a bank account to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, she's a nice lady, so I can see why you want to do her bidding. Okay. Uh, you know what I watched last night that was really was really wonderfully nice. Big uh, Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory. Did you watch it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What'd you think? Wasn't it nice? I loved it. Yeah. It was <laughs> what? What? I, I don't know. I was just gonna say I thought it was it was a little cheesy. You know, it was you know fixing the uh you know I don't, know, I don't want to blow it for people, but I, don't know. I thought there could have been a little more to it, but. It was all right. Well, I think it, it ended perfectly, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, it, you, you can blow it. I, I, I'm not going to make any effort to watch it. I mean, if well, I see it. Well, it isn't a question care. that you really blow anything. I mean, uh, it, it, what happens to them happens in the very beginning of the show, which is uh, it turns out that, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 no, Sheldon. Sheldon and oh, his wife. Now I'm trying to, I'm trying to, oh, there we go. Now, is Tony going to pop in? Yes, Tony pops in. Maybe they've halfway fixed this goddamn thing, yeah. you know? I don't know if they have, but maybe they have. Well, you know? Tony's doing the pop-in. Sounds like a, yeah. a sign for uh, thing. There we go. Find oh, out when we get yeah. one more person because I got all squares right now. You have all squares, yeah. Well, because then we start getting those stupid dots, which obliterate mm. certain people's heads. Like, if we had yeah. too many dots... It would get in the way of Charlie's face, okay? <laughs> so, um, you know, I mean, but uh, anyway, so hello, Tony. How are you? I'm hanging in there. You're hanging. I can't wait to quit, Alex. I can't stay in the place. <laughs> uh, the, the, I hate be careful. It. Be careful what you pray for. I know, but I'm praying. To, <laughs> I can't wait. I can't take it anymore. I'm literally at wit's end. Wait a minute. Well, now, this oh, is a guy. I want, I want folks to know this, folks. This is a guy. I'm slightly out of sync, so please excuse me if I'm slightly out of sync. This is a guy who has a job. What is it you do? You fold boxes to put hats in. He is so mundane, Alex. I was tell I you know what I, I I pull we know we do we're in a warehouse, which is really not a warehouse. Yeah. It's a garage, right? Yeah. So it's not insulated. And all we do is they come out to put the orders in the tray and I'm pulling hats and caps. And most of it's all from China, Phil. You would hate the place. <laughs> it's all imported hey, from China. You know, I, I told so him. So is his so I, I told him he's lucky to have a job. You know why you're lucky to have a job, Tony? Because you work 15 minutes a day. You That's spend the true. rest of your day harassing all your friends on Facebook <laughs> right. Messenger. My yeah. brother doesn't even pick up my phone. What do you want now? I got to get out of here. I can't take it. You know what it is? You're right. You know what it is, Alex? You ever get to the point... That you just can't take the job anymore. You probably always had good jobs. Well, I'm just burnt out now. No, I, I don't want to. I, 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 I'm anymore. getting sick and tired of this. Really? I really am. Oh yeah, yeah. When are you going to go on vacation? Uh, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got the party at her. Yeah. yeah. One day. One day. Man, That's not enough, you know, man. You need to go out to back to California. Take like, at yeah. least two weeks I, off. I need to take California's some time. California's not out. a vacation. <clears throat> No. Well, who knows? Anyway, so I'm a little go out, to California. I, get us some more stories. I'm a little out of sync, folks. Please don't mind it. It's not terrible, um, but they're all in sync, so that's all that matters, truthfully. Uh, but anyway, so um, where were we? We were talking about uh, oh yeah, Tony, Tony, and his job of where he hey, there are these boxes and he folds them and then somebody else puts the hats in them, right? Yeah, they they fired a the guy, Alex. I felt bad for. What did they fire him for? I knew he was getting he was getting everything wrong. The stores were getting the wrong merchandise. Oh. I tried to check his orders, but I think he wanted to get fired. But you know what's good? He gets he gets unemployment. He just made the cut. I knew he was going to get canned because I heard them talking. But they're so desperate for workers now. Little do they know when I give my two weeks notice, I'm going to do cartwheels out of that place. And we got mice. We got a family of mice because we don't get an exterminator. And birds fly around. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. A job with pets? That's wonderful. <laughs> exactly. I it's a therapy you. thing. I saw a mouse. I think he had to be like this big. That's a rat, not a mouse. That's a fucking rat. Yeah, that's what I told the son in law. Oh, we don't need an exterminator. I'm just going to put glue traps down. No fucking cheese or peanut butter. He's an idiot. I can't wait to quit. I don't even eat there. 
I'm afraid to sit down in the place. Yeah. Um, and I'm telling you. <laughs> yes, J it's, Jason. It's like it was, a fucking zoo in Central Park. Jason. It by, when he mentioned mice, I was out cutting my grass today, and I have a, a zero-turn lawnmower. I'm sitting there. I'm just going slow. I'm, I'm edging the driveway, and I see something black out of the corner of my eye. And there's a little mouse. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> it, it ran right underneath my mower deck. Oh. <laughs> it's like, he must have been sad. <laughs> Uh, was he looking visibly depressed? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see uh, here. Matt, Jeff, suicide by lawnmower. Jeff Stein is calling. Let's see if Jeff automatically comes on. Yes. yes. What do you know? So it was the only person <laughs> aut didn't automatically good. come on was um, me. Was was Ray? Uh, he was the only I one some, I had to uh, call back. So maybe they I got some breaking news. What? Uh, in Denton, Texas. Now that's where Amy lives. Uh, uh, today, a man uh, decapitated his mother uh, and then ran out of the apartment. The mother was dead, and he, and he yeah. hacksawed her head off. Yeah. So oh I think that he was her caretaker. And oh, stop it. No, <laughs> it, it, it was in back. Denton, Texas, and it was today. <laughs> Was she alive when he did it? No, she was dead, oh, that's and he, he decided to chop her head off. He was going to save it, huh? Uh, I, I don't know. He he ran out of the house. Did uh, he take the head with him, or did he leave it there? Uh, I gotta I gotta read the uh, whole article. Uh, 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 I think he took the head, or they can't find the head. Uh, I'll, I'll check. <laughs> it. But it's in Denton, Texas, and a 44 year old guy. So you know, Amy's from Denton, and uh, I thought so, you know. She yeah. she ran for uh, some political office. There. Did did she? Is she has the election taken place yet? Or I what? believe it did, yeah. and she didn't win. Well, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, <laughs> but uh, well, the guy wanted to get ahead in life. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh yeah. come on. Um, geez, Charles, <laughs> you're amazing. That's that, that's worse than some of my jokes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you show? Did you tell Alex about the Christie thing with the teacher? That was good. Nah, he don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. No. 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 But uh, it, it was a uh, YouTube thing. I saw Chris Christie answering some questions at, when he was still governor uh, in a in a town hall, and he was very interesting. I I, I was impressed by his his answer and uh, you know how thorough he was, uh, and you know. Yeah, uh, he uh, we, was, we, we he was pretty we, good. We expect that out of you, Phil. Hello, Jeff. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Uh, I think the guy from New Jersey would be your kind of guy. Oh, uh, Chris Christie? Yeah, he could be president for you. Uh, Chris uh, Christie was a good he, guy. He, he was I a liked guy. him in the beginning uh, before I went for Trump. Uh, and actually, he went for Trump, too. But Chris Christie, this was an interesting uh, exchange that uh, they were having with uh, school teachers and the and the pension fund. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it was, he, it was interesting. Chris Christie, if you're if he's the type of person, if you're not talking politics with him, he, he can get along with anybody. He, he has he has a good personality. It's just, you know, his political views are ass backwards. This had to do with you know, fire the, uh, the teachers, right? No, well, no, yeah. it had to do with the uh, retirement fund in New Jersey for the teachers, and he was very knowledgeable. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been joined by Patrick Blazik. Hello, Patrick. Uh, How are you? I'm dandy. Yes, no? I'm, I'm dandy, too. <laughs> you know, as dandy as you can be. I mean, I feel a little better now that I'm on the air, you know. You know what I did? I drink coffee every night. And, and and then I wonder why I can't go to sleep. That's me too. Alex. So then I take I take I take Xanax. So what I did today is I ordered I ordered to uh, uh, Amazon for uh, Folgers half calf. Oh, you got? The, yeah. Well, let me know how you like it. Folgers. Well, it was oh, the only half calf that didn't cost that came in small enough quantities that I could just try it. The rest, they were like 96 K cups, you know? Yeah. And I didn't want to do that, <laughs> you know? Uh, you can get 10, 15 K cups from uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah, and but half, half, that says half calf? I'm not half calf. No. Yeah, just, no. Uh, so so you what you do is you make one, one cup calf, one cup full, and mm -hmm. then you pour them together. Yeah. Okay. Or you just drink your coffee before you go on the air. 
Okay. Well, uh, it, yeah, but that uh, I I drink it to keep me awake doing this show. But it takes a while for it to kick in. You drink it before you go on the air, and then it kicks in. Oh, really? Uh, Coffee the head does... wasn't found. Oh. Okay. I just bought a I just bought a new Mister Coffee espresso machine. Oh. Did you Mr. really? Mister Coffee makes good yeah. coffee. It's actually really good. I it, it wasn't one of these European ones. It was Mr. Coffee. I took a chance. It's good. Yeah, they're inexpensive. Joe DiMaggio yeah. used to push them. That's why I got That's it. Right. Well, I do. I, I do the yeah. Krups. I do the Krups, but I I for the most part use ground coffee and put them in this refillable cup. And oh, then, yeah. Then I we got one of those too. Yeah. It's good. And it, it's really good. I like it. I like doing that. That that's really fresh coffee. Yeah, you're still getting the uh, roadkill coffee or whatever that uh, oh, death, de death, death wish. wish. Nah, I found I found that it was it was a little more expensive and it didn't kill me. No, it wasn't as strong so, as they purported to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have a thing. If I want a strong, I have Starbucks Plus. Yeah, yeah, uh, which is supposedly more caffeine than you know any human being should. You remember that Jolt Cola? Twice the yeah. caffeine and yeah. Uh, yeah. and sugar. Yeah. Heck <laughs> yeah. That was my jam. Just fed clean and no caffeine. Yeah. yeah. I, I get this coffee called uh, Four Sigmatic. It has mushrooms in it. Yeah. Not magic mushrooms, but it's oh. like, it's it's really good. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Four Sigmatic. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, there you go. Yes, Jason. Stuff. So he said mushrooms, and that made me think. Yeah, you know, the other day I was at work, and I found you guys uh, eat morels. No. What's morels? Mushrooms. Morels. No. no. Oh, I wonder if it's just a Michigan thing. I guess they're almost a delicatessen. Like people actually go out hunting for them and stuff. And mm. I found a whole bunch of them in Detroit. <laughs> and uh, my parents are like, "You better pick those." And then they're like, "People are gonna want them." And I'm trying to give them away, and nobody wants them. And then finally, I found some guy. He's like, "Hell yeah, I'll take them." And it was just it was funny. I guess they're a really good delicatessen or something. Uh, we get death cap mushrooms out here. Yeah, uh, these, these these are actually they're not magic mushrooms. No, no, no like, these uh, aren't magic either. They kill you. Uh, they kill uh, you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of those. Yeah, but you can get a lot of uh, magic mushrooms out here too, Phil. Uh, if you know where to look. Psilocybin. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, in Denver, it's going to be legal. They're talking about. Cool. Or or in Colorado. Uh, Patrick has got his mushroom, uh, uh, yeah. and, and he, he's reaching for it right now. Yes, Patrick. He's grab it and stab it. Patrick, we the, should guy, all do the guy who always night, always has his hand up, by the way. He he really plays by the rules on this program, unlike other people we know. It, his hand is frozen in that position. You never <laughs> raise your hand, Phil. You never <laughs> raise your hand when you want to talk. Because if I did, you wouldn't call on me. <laughs> no, then I would. It's like putting on your left turn signal. See, I don't uh, have to call and, on and you. Expecting somebody to slow down. I don't have to call in. on you. Listen to you. I don't have to call on you. Oh, okay. Now, anyway, Patrick. I just wanted to let Jason know that those are popular in Wisconsin too. It might be for Midwest. Midwest thing, yeah. Uh, now here's something I've noticed tonight, and and maybe the rest of you don't, and and that is. Uh, uh, our, our good friend, um, uh, 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 oh boy, see, there I go, there I Sounds go. Sounds like? It's, I'm just, it's just, I'm taking too many Xanax uh, to Describe. put me to sleep at night. Uh, Tony! <laughs> yes. Yes. Look at Tony, folks. Are you Have you, you, you noticed something? Yeah. Talk, talk, All Tony. All I see is wallpaper. Wait, wait, talk, Tony, so we can get your picture on oh. it, so people can see it. Hello? Huh? So just, just... What's going on? It, it, no, you have to talk more than that so that you're... Oh, you're, oh okay. The picture. Well, I had another horrible day in work, but it's almost over. Okay, so look at him. Just sit up a little straighter so people can see you. Look at that. He's, he's grown a beard. I know. She can't see it that much. I, I'm just too lazy to shave. I can't tell this you now from Jeff. Wait. You know, I got the shave. homeless it's look. Out. It's getting itchy. Je Jeff doesn't have the homeless look. Tony, Tony's got that homeless look. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair change. You know? oh, oh, Jeff, 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 uh, Jeff, you have a very, um, um, you know, distinguished beard, I think. And that's a beard I would like to be able to grow. 
Huh? I want to look good. What'd you say? I trim it a lot. Yeah, yeah. He trims it a lot. So you know what I noticed? Does it? It's itchy to have once I don't when I don't shave after a while. Yeah. It gets too long. Gets uh, it only yeah. lasts for a couple of days. The itchy. But you point. get used to that. You, I'm gonna shave though. I'm just lazy. You had you had a beard for a while, didn't you, uh, um, Ray? I mean, not Ray. Yeah, uh, I did. Yeah. Well, you did, Ray, but also, well, I, I, I don't think, however, that uh, uh, Patrick has ever had a beard, if I remember correctly. Have you? Goatees. A really? goatee? Yeah, I, I've got several goatees no. on and off. Um, but what I wanted to say was, uh, Tony has his glamour uh, filter on again. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, because that? the spider webs start weaving it's, over the. Yeah, exactly. Hold on. It, it, yeah, the wallpaper's yeah. throwing me from. This has got to come down. It is down the wallpaper. Does it even fucking? Uh, 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 it's it's it's, it's clear. Now it's fixed. Yeah. Does anybody smoke in your house? Yeah. yeah what what just, goes on in your yeah. house? Who do you? It's the lighting because I think got, it's the spider. No, no. It's the, it's definitely stuff. Schmutz gets on your lens. <laughs> it sounds like an old Cole Porter song. People ask me how I knew Schmutz gets on my lens. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you don't use magazines. You you use the computer. <laughs> I think it's too close down though. That's all the distance. Yeah. Anyway, she's got bad lighting on the top floor. Yeah, but what what happens to that? What hap Why does your lens get all full of dust like that? I don't know. I'm gonna have to quote. You know that lady with paying at 25 an hour. She's cleaning Monday. I'll tell you that. Do some work. <laughs> Do something. Clean. Pay for my, Just gotta... say, clean, make sure you clean my lens. Yes. And, I, you know, I might and, make a and then she'll probably it. call the Me Too movement and complain that you. Uh, what? It's called uh, uh, ROR, residual yeah, oil it, it, remover. Here, here's what I and use. Here's it's what for I lenses. Use. And then you use these wipes, and they don't leave any lint. Here's what here's what here, here, here's oh, what yeah. Joe bought for me. Yeah, see, he's got one. I got one. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I got with like uh, like Laura Brothers. Yeah, that's right. My camera's Brothers pretty clean, another. right? My camera's clean, right? You know what I use? Charmin. Yeah. Two plus. You use Charmin? <laughs> no, I don't freaking no clean. Boy, I'm way, I'm way out of sync tonight. Way. I'm about <clears throat> two seconds behind now. Isn't uh, that stuff great, Ray? It is. I use it every day, Phil. Phil's my buddy. He bought me this stuff. And a sandwich. <laughs> you got it too. And well, he lived. Hope, I did. I uh, hopefully when it. we're on the air again next week, uh, my machine will not have crashed and we'll be able to use the, 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 uh, uh, the um, trash can. And, and I won't be, um, well, I'm just completely out of, out of sync. It's so odd that you're out of sync and we're not. I know, I know. That's why I go go to your pictures instead of, uh, you know, the, the the group like this because you can see. Well, it's not that bad right now. It's like uh, if I move my finger, yeah, it's about it's about a second off. So, yeah. see, it's really with that hat. Knows. He's speaking Chinese and being translated into English, That's so right. it's just the lips aren't matching up right. <laughs> it's a, it's a bad, I look like a badly dubbed movie. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. a Japanese Godzilla movie. Yeah. Um, Godzilla. So anyway, so I was say, good at saying about Big Bang Theory that I, I just thought it was very sweet, and I thought it was very nice. But I don't know how many of you watch Young Sheldon. Uh, that's, a couple times. That, that's I, the I, companion I, I show to it. Didn't and, care for. Well, it. it's gotten very good. I like it a lot. Yeah. And last night they ended it with all these uh, with the shots of various kids either going to sleep at night or reading a book at night, and it's all the characters from the show, from the Big Bang Theory, as children. Really? Oh, and, it wow. was, and it was very sweet, you know. Uh, you see, uh, you know, you, you see all the characters, and, the, you know, uh, Penny is like, got in her room she's got a sign, a big bunch of letters that says, Penny, you know, and she's just sleeping where she sprawled all over the bed. I mean, she's a little kid. She's like, you know... Uh, under 10. Yeah. Um, and it, it was just a very sweet ending. It was a sweet companion to that. And then what they did is they added to that uh, a show, a half-hour show, uh, 
about the show, and it was real. Uh, th that was terrific. It's a lot of backstage stuff and and all of that. And it was it was really a, f a, a two hours of uh, a fitting goodbye to a series that is the longest running um, uh, live, uh, you know, single camera or multi camera sitcom studio studio. Uh, sitcom. sitcom in the business and probably one of the longest lasting of all time. Yes, uh, Jason. So the thing I think is funny is they're like, they're supposed to be the same age as me mm -hmm. and uh, seeing what's his name. Uh, the guy who was from uh, Roseanne. Did you, did you see the Stephen Colbert thing? I'm like looking at him like, holy shit, he's old. But you know, on the show, he's supposed to be the Lucky same age or as me. Well, yeah. no, he's, they, they're, they're supposed to be probably in their late thirties now on the show. Yeah. Yeah, you know, 39, 40. Uh, well, years she old. in reality, in real life, is only 33. I mean, no, uh, uh, Stephen Galecki or whatever his yeah, name is. It, the, oh, Johnny, yep, yeah. 30, yeah. she's only 33 and is literally a millionaire, multi millionaire. Didn't they make a million an episode? She made a million, a million an episode, yes. And there was what, 273 episodes? They, well, they didn't. Yeah, it they, wasn't from the beginning. They, not from the yeah. beginning, but for the last couple of years, I'm sure they yeah. made a couple, about $100 million. And now they got residuals. Are they, did they got the same deal Seinfeld had, or do they smarten up and negotiate where they don't get it? What do you mean, where they don't get what? Uh, the residuals. Yeah, everybody uh, you gets Because Seinfeld. Of course. Uh, they got a lot of residuals. Well, whereas of course. He still owned the uh, something, uh, some part of that, but I don't know that the well, cast uh, from no, what Big happened, Bang. What happened was, well, the cast from Big Bang didn't own the show, but right. they certainly yeah. keep getting residuals, and the residuals are quite, quite huge. Yeah. Uh, the union rule. You know, like as what, what was sag. what was the difference between that and what the Seinfeld crew did? That they had some special deal, you know, where they. Uh, retained some sort of ownership, uh, and I think they got a much greater amount of the residuals. Um, I don't believe so. Really? Oh, okay. Uh, Seinfeld people, the you know the leads. I mean, they all got they all get residuals. If I appeared in one episode of Seinfeld, I would keep getting checks. Yeah. You know, uh, even one appearance would get you keep having get, getting checks. Listen, I'm still getting checks. 25 years after I did the last comedy uh, uh, one-night one stand for HBO. How much yeah. is the check? Um, the Bill Mars usually are the ones I get now because they, the Bill Mars is the one they keep running on HBO. And I think every year I get a couple hundred bucks. You know, but I also still get checks every now and then for Comedy Tonight that was on PBS. Because they've either sold it somewhere or done something with it. And, uh, uh, you know, it's one of those, uh, I, uh, every now and then I get a call from my business manager. He goes, I guess we just got another check. You know, it's not like like $3 checks. It's like... Um, uh, Wasn't there some a story you told about some comedian who got a check for a penny? <laughs> no, no, no. It? They did a thing on, uh, on Seinfeld where he was getting residuals from Japan or something. And uh, he was signing all these checks for $3. Uh, there was also a Seinfeld episode where his grandmother was sending him checks and he never cashed them. And then he was told to cash them and he cashed them. And they all bounced. <laughs> I can't remember. I, I, I do remember something like that in the episode. But I, the thing is that what happens with residuals is they keep on um, they keep on giving. You know, I mean, all of a sudden you're seeing that you're getting a check for something that you did so long ago. You can't even remember doing it. I did a show called Comedy Tonight in San Francisco, which was on PBS, and every time we did one, I got a check for $175. But over the years, I've gotten almost ten grand out of those shows in residuals. So is residuals different than royalties? Yes. I mean, it, well, I guess you could call them royalties, couldn't you, Ray? Well, Ray. residuals have to... I think residuals have to do with uh, being a member of SAG-AFTRA. Royalties would be uh, if you had some sort of ownership in, in the show. See, the I thing believe. is, wait, where Seinfeld made yeah. his money is not only did he get checks every time the show ran, okay, mm -hmm. but he also got money for every time the show ran because he wrote a lot of the episodes. So he got exactly. money from the Writers Guild, 
And then Those also the because he was a creator of the show, he got a, a bunch of that. So he walked yeah. away after that with about a half a million dollars. But Alex, you know who really cleaned up was Larry David. Well, he, he no, he didn't clean up any more I than Seinfeld. Got, but his, Seinfeld. his net worth is twice as much as as, as Jerry Seinfeld's. I, I looked it up. He, Seinfeld, oh. I understood, got 120 million when the show ended. No, more like 500 thousand. That was it. Yep. I thought it was 120 million. Hey, a 500 thousand ain't 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 small. Uh, yeah, it and, doesn't and last I that think long. I think. If Larry David made more money than Seinfeld, it's because of stuff since then, because they okay. were pretty much equal partners. And the thing that Seinfeld had that uh, that uh, David didn't have is the residuals for performance. While he was on Seinfeld on a rather continual basis for a while, playing, uh, what's his name, the head of the New York Yankees. Oh, yeah, he was oh, trying right. to... <laughs> Yeah, he, he was the. Yeah, boy. he would do those weird. Actually, uh, I'm wrong. Uh, Seinfeld is twice as much as Larry David. I thought it was the other way around. Huh? Okay, never mind. Yeah, Seinfeld is yeah, it's twice as much money as Larry and, David. And, and you know, so Seinfeld did okay for himself. He has nine. Seinfeld has nine hundred and fifty million. Nine hundred fifty million. Yeah. Wow. Larry David is four hundred million. Well, you know. I'm not crying for e either of them, you know. So, so Seinfeld's almost a billionaire. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we don't uh, have NBC. We don't have a lot of listeners tonight because we're not arguing with each other. Oh, that's right. Is there yeah. a basket? This basketball, I think, is really cutting. And the other night, the Warriors were playing. That's why. That's why there was hardly anybody. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh is this the last one? Well, it's a semifinals I, now. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah, there was a Warrior game last night. Somebody asked me if I watched it, and I said I didn't know there was a game. And something, they were down 17 points and came back. Yeah. They were. Yeah. So anyway, so, you know, uh, these and so these people doing the Big Bang Theory, I, I don't know what the residuals are on it, but usually residuals are very close to what you got paid the first time some, something ran. That's for the first couple of showings, I think, uh, uh, and then it go, it gets. Am I right, Ray? It gets less yes. and less as the years. It gets years less go. and less. Yeah. It also depends on the market, the market where it's showing. Yeah. Oh, oh. Now, in the, the case, size of in the market. In the case of a sitcom, that's very saleable to local TV stations and to and to cable networks. Uh, what isn't are hour-long dramas. They don't fare as well. You don't get the same kind of residuals. You're not going to see the same kind of money. But Big Bang's going to be running for years, and Seinfeld has yeah. run for years on local stations. So, you know, uh, uh, you take any of those four people, four principals in the show, and they made a fortune. And then you've got other people like, you know, Wayne, what's his name? Wayne, uh, Wayne Knight. Wayne, Wayne Knight, Knight, who, who ha got a nice chunk as well. Uh, yeah. Just for having been a regular, although how did he describe his part on the show? He said, "I was. They were like a cruise ship, and I was the rowboat going behind them." <laughs> That's how he. <laughs> and what about Jerry Stiller? Didn't Jerry Stiller? Oh, yeah. he, Jerry George's Stiller, dad. Yeah, Jerry Stiller yeah. did very well. Yeah. Stands his dad. Remember, he used to always yell at him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. uh, I, I think uh, Pat's uh, looking for mushrooms again. Or 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 he has his hand out, you know. Yeah, yeah. Let me see here. We got uh, we have um, uh, Kevin calling, and I don't know if I'm going to have to call Kevin back. I guess oh, I'm going to have to call Kevin back. So let me call Kevin. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know. No, no. I thought I thought I wouldn't have to call Kevin back, but some of you came oh. through and some of you didn't, and I have no well, it could idea be why. Because there's eight. You know, maybe that's that's why. I, I I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. We just lost. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me see here. Let me find out. Eight. Uh, oh, yes. Kevin joined, so I've got to go find him. He's the, his name is Harley something. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum, uh, going here. Uh, hog Rider. There we go. Hog Rider. Come on. Come on, Hog Rider. Come, come on. I did it. Oh, I know why. That, I got there, we go. Go. there we go. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I got, I got, that's the wrong one. Hold on a second. Uh, let me go get Hog Rider again. Hog Rider. Okay. All right. Now let's see if that changes. Hey, there we go. Rider. There we go. There's Kevin. There's Hog Rider. There you are. What's going on, Hog? How you doing, Hog? How you doing? Bo <laughs> Boss Hog. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it has it. Boss Hog? Yeah, do you remember uh, Petticoat that... Junction? Petticoat yeah. Junction. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that, true, true. Wasn't that the uh, the guy that? Uh, oh no, Boss Hog wasn't Petticoat. It was no. uh, Duke, Duke. Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of yeah. Hazard. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Occasionally we get that little Skype sign because something happens here. It's it's another thing with with uh, with Skype. You know, a badly written program by a bunch of students from some place who don't know what the fuck they're doing. So it's working better now. Huh? Working better now. Yeah, it's working better now. You know, that's still, I, you know. Don't curse it. Don't curse it? Okay, I won't curse <laughs> yeah. it. Well, some people actually got on tonight without me having to, you know, uh, call them back. So That's because Skype was tired of hearing you bitch. Well, I know. I want to know why that happens. You know, it's, it, it, it's ridiculous. Who knows why any of this stuff happens? It's the big gods of Skype. Um the trouble is the world is being run by 25-year-olds. Uh, That's the problem. You know, Remember when you were a kid, the world was run by adults? What? We, did we lose somebody? Did we just uh, lose somebody? I'm not sure. Uh, no. No? Then how no, come I only, have I, only have, I only have I only have three people on my Skype screen. What are you, pulling a Ray? I think we, lo we lost Ray. Did we lose yeah. Ray? Yeah. Ray, are you there? We lost Ray. Yeah, that's who we lost. I'll leave him there, though, because he's frozen in spot, and nobody will know he's gone. <laughs> and when he calls back, there we go. I will just simply uh, put him on, and let's see if he, uh, he comes in. Uh, are you there, Ray? No? Okay, then I'm going to have to call Ray back. Uh, see, folks, this is what I'm talking about. I'd just rather do a fucking show. And have uh, to do this. See, you started harping on Skype, and it paid you back. Yeah, it paid me back, and and he he just joined, and there he is. Okay. Sorry about that. I think I'm going to have to reinstall Skype because it's crashing intermittently for no reason. I'm just sitting here. Oh no, crashes. it's not crashing for intermittently for no reason. You want to know the reason why it's crashing? Yeah, because it was built by a bunch of 25 year olds. <laughs> okay. Mine seems to be crashing more than everybody else's, so there must be something wrong with the installation or something. It could know. be you don't have a the machine may lack the power. You see, the other thing. Oh no, this is super powerful machine. I built it. But, well, yeah. well, there, there's your answer right there. Uh, <laughs> oh no, no, my son built it. He's actually that's what he does for. Well, work. well what I, I was going to say it. is, is that uh, <clears throat> this Skype, the new Skype, uses up way too much. Power, power. It, it, it's it's a bandwidth hog, complete bandwidth hog. That's one of the reasons why, without the more powerful machine that I'm using here, I start going out of sync, is because S Skype is the culprit. If if I you could add people to Skype like crazy and it didn't use any more bandwidth, it didn't hog the bandwidth, but it's very badly built. It's a very mm. badly built program. You're a bad program. You're a bad it's bad program. Talking also, about building computers, uh, back in the day, I had a 286 Epson, mm -hmm. and I decided that I was going to, you know, graduate to the 486. So I went to this place called Domino Computers, where they, you know, you buy the parts, and then you sit down and you plug everything in, mm -hmm. and you have the computer. Uh, so, and I built two of them, two 486s, and uh, they were they were good computers. I thought I was saving money. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah for uh, I went from 286 to 486. I, I thought I was cutting the, you know, cutting the big one there. You, rem you remember how slow those were? Yeah. I remember uh, look, I uh, you know, I'm using I'll tell you something. The, the best machine that I had here up in well, I like the cheese grater. And now that I dusted it out inside, it doesn't make a sound. You can't hear it. Let me You don't hear yeah. anything. 
You know, you no. just don't hear. But it, it, it just is shy of having enough power to do what you need to it, do. Well, no, it it has enough power. Yeah. If it weren't for Skype and the way they utilize, uh, ban- you know, uh, power, uh, yeah. they just eat up power like crazy. And um, so when I have that other machine, the twelve core, it just you know, it zips through without a problem. Yeah. So. Shall I go look well, and see if it's crashed yet? Of course. Hold on a second. I'll, I'll come back. Talk to each other. It's called a, a crash time. test. It's going to be crazy. I already. just put a new fan in my computer, and it's running much better. A big, yeah. bulky one. Yeah, like, it really keeps it cool. It's yeah. crazy. When we don't even have computers, it's just you're going to plug in, and you're going to have a monitor, and all your the whole entire computer is going to be a cloud. That's yeah. just... Well, you still off, need something to be able to get to the cloud, because uh, all my computers at work, uh, I don't have a server anymore. Uh, it's all cloud-based. You plug your cloud modem, you well, plug monitor into the modem. A Chromebook, a Chromebook yeah. just sent Everybody us can see my browser. pajamas. Yeah, so what's yeah. the verdict? But uh, anyway, no, it, it didn't crash. It hasn't crashed, so... Maybe, maybe, maybe we're we're out of the woods. Maybe just don't run that program. No, I ran that program, and it and it cra- and no, it didn't crash. It didn't crash. No. Wow. I think it was a residual crash, is what I think it was yeah. from that program. And, you know, it seems to be okay. I I I'm going to install it uh, over the weekend, and uh, you know, it'll take me ten minutes to install it. It's just a matter of re-rigging the wires up through from the floor. Up to the up to here, because it, and then I have to carry this old Mac, the cheese grater, back to the other studio. Boy, we're down to twenty three people watching right now. What's with all of you? Anyway, um, uh, I have to then pick up this Mac, and I, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting older, but each year it seems to get heavier. You know, it's really amazing how heavy yeah. it is. Um, Compared to the cheese grater, which I can hold with one hand. Oh, you mean the uh, the no, trash the, can? No, the trash can, rather. Show them, show them your trash can. You'll see why we call it the trash can. Uh, Here, right, let me see. Show, show them the trash right. can. Here we go. Uh, there we there go. It is. There's, so, that's the trash can. That's exactly yeah. the one I have. Let's uh, see if I can you've had uh, no tr- get it. You've had no trouble with yours, right? No, no none, none whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I bought it from a friend who, who bought it new. And, uh, you know, that guy, I, I trusted that, you know, it was in good condition. Well, literally everything in my in my uh, 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 trash can has been replaced. Uh, yeah. It may be refurbished parts, but it's it's absolutely replaced everything. You know, I just I just wonder if uh, yours, because it's so fast. Uh, is a little more susceptible to uh, to things than something that's a little more basic like mine, which is only a six core. Yeah, but it's the twelve oh. core that make this thing work well with this whole system here. You know, yeah. that's the problem. But yeah. if I had my way, I would like to get a really powerful PC over here. But I, you know, you can't. T- I can't tell with PCs. You know, whether, whether they only go up to like eight core, I think PCs. They don't last very long. Hmm? They, PCs don't last as long. Uh, something about the operating system clogs, bogs them down after a while. Yeah. So does, does somebody, uh, um, Rob, say something about every time they do an upgrade, they hold on to the old information too, where versus an Apple, and when it does an upgrade, it deletes the old file? I, I think what you're talking about, and I and I I think this is actually good rather than bad, uh, is that what it is is a um, a system whereby they replace it with the new one, but they keep the old one. So if at a certain point you want to roll it back because you've got some kind of problem, you can roll it back to the old operating system. That's what Isn't I. Isn't there something in Windows that has like set points? That uh, you you can uh, you can set it and then you can say take me back to this date where I did some sort of save. Yeah. By the way, I think we've I think we've lost. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I think we've lost uh, Ray again. Yeah. 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 I used to have to do that every single time I started my old PC. I'd have to roll my date back so I could bypass viruses. 
<laughs> oh, really? It was, it was a daily basis. That's when I switched to Apple. I was so happy. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, well, you know, I mean, um, what I find about um, Apple is they're not the powerhouses that you would like them to be, you know. Like, well, graphically, they are. I mean, this cheese grater was perfect for, like, the old Skype. But for the new Skype, it's, it's you know, it's huffing and puffing. You know, and it's an eight core. You know, yeah. but, 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 uh, but I can't figure out with, uh, with, with the, with the, with the uh, if I wanted to get myself a, uh, a new PC, what do you get? How do you tell what the CPU is? Uh, how how strong it is? I, you know, what do you get? Uh, that that friend of mine that I bought this from spent ten or eleven thousand dollars on his P new PC uh, because he does movies and and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, he made a video uh, about uh, the build on his PC and how fast it was. I'll forward it to you. I'll find it. Forward it to you. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was very interesting uh, what he did. Uh, and because he, he was going to get the new um, uh, Apple Mac Pro, the uh, it ha I don't think it's out yet. But for what he wanted, it would have been fourteen thousand uh, dollars uh, if you dressed it out. And so he did for ten uh, a faster machine using a PC. Yeah. Oh well, you know, uh, I just uh, got uh, the frozen picture of Ray out of the. Um, out of the shot, so it'll take thirty seconds before it goes out on mine. Yeah, uh, well, that's maybe more. It depends on where yeah. you live, you know. Um, Jeff has got his hand yes, up. Yes, Jeff. Fancy. I'm I'm curious that the fact that you sent this computer over to Texas twice for yeah. repair. Yeah. What did they charge you for all of that? And and I remember you you bought it based on a. Uh, somebody else's computer before right? i bought i bought it on ebay um uh, and under normal conditions i would tell you that i got ripped off by ebay uh by the way i'm now now i'm now not out of sync uh, here we go here's here's ray again um and i don't think he's suddenly going to come in so i'm going to I did. oh you did oh okay yeah well, i uninstalled skype and reinstalled it that was fast. That was fast. There's a new Skype, by the way. There's a new upgrade for the PC at yeah. least. Yeah, I just, when I logged in, it made me upgrade. Are you, are, you yeah. there, are you there? Move your hand, Ray. Hello. You're still frozen. Oh, I'm not frozen here. No, I see him moving on Skype. Oh, well, uh, let me see here. He's not moving on the, well, let me, let me, let me. I'm not moving very well, though. I'm like all, like. Well, no, but your picture is frozen. Let me see here. I see myself moving. Oh, I, I know. Your gum, gum, Goomba. Goomba. Goomba 61. Okay. Gumby? There we go. Yeah, I, I just had to re, <laughs> I had to re put you in there. Okay. But I, anyway, I anyway. Um, yeah, no, I just, I just wonder. I, I, I would love to be using the PC. I mean, I like that for it just the way I sat here and the way. It looked and all of that, you know. But what the hell? But no, what I was saying is, you asked about that, Jeff. What happened is, I bought the thing for thirty three hundred on 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 eBay. All right, uh, and what went wrong was the uh, display card blew. So they fixed the display card. They found first they got the wrong one. There were two of them. They got the wrong one. Then they got the right one. Okay, um, and then he said um, um, he got the he, they got the right one, and then they turned it on. They they said they didn't feel any heat, but the diagnostic said there was some uh, two percent heat coming out of there, and they don't know how to fix that, so they're sending it down to Houston. So they sent it down to Houston, and in Houston, in order to solve the problem, they replaced all my memory, they replaced both graphics cards. They uh, replaced the 12-core CPU and all the attendant attachments to it, okay? And uh, then the, they sent it back to me, and the bill for that was $3,000. But because they didn't fix it on the first try at Apple, they have a rule. They don't charge you for it. 
So I got three thousand dollars worth of rebuilt computer for four for three hundred and fifty three hundred and sixty nine dollars. Okay, mm. and then the thing went bad again. So they had to send it back, and they replaced the CPU with a twelve core CPU again with another twelve core CPU, and they replaced the logic board. That's another two thousand dollars. They did five thousand dollars work on my computer, and it only cost me three hundred and fifty nine dollars or something like that. Steve Jobs would be doing in the box. Steve Jobs would be turning over in his grave. If, no, a new one's well, eight grand. No, if oh, it, is it? Oh, no, nine grand. Nine grand. Oh, yeah. geez. I uh, thought you bought it from some third-party company, didn't you? Yes, I bought it as oh. a youth. But anyway, here's the deal. Oh. Here's the deal. This is the best part about it is that uh, I think if I if it goes bad again and I take it back one more time, they have a rule at Apple. We'll just give you a refurbished new new model. You know, oh, Lemon Law. <laughs> well, well, yeah, but this is on a machine that was out of warranty in the first place. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah, but you took service. it in. You you paid for service. They estimated that that's what it was. Yeah. And then they and then they screwed up. Yeah. I I, I told you know I had to get a new cord for mine. Because, you keep uh, telling the cord story. We've heard it eight million times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, how many times have you told the core story? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, tonight is the first time I've told the whole story. Uh, tonight, yeah, and then the night before, and the night before that. Anyway, so, uh, so like I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of writing these people that I bought this thing from, saying, "You really sold me a fucking lemon," and I'm going to explain all the things that Apple found wrong with it, and, and then in the end, I'm going to tell them how much how much, how much it cost me to get it fixed. But that you sold me a lemon. You, you know, know what the response would be? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, they won't. They won't <laughs> yeah, give a shit. You know. Note. You know why you had these problems? They mm -hmm. they had a unit that was under the recall. They didn't get it taken care of under the recall, and then you had the problem that it was recalled. No, for. but they, you can only you could, uh, could uh, they had a recall. And the recall was up. The recall was on the uh, graphics boards. Right. That's okay. where it started. Uh, and uh, the, but the thing was that the recall was only up to a certain point, and apparently at that point, nothing had gone wrong with the computer. See, if something yeah, had gone wrong with it, you, could, you couldn't just go back and get a new graphics board. Well, she, your well, graphics you board... If it's recalled, it's recalled. No, they recalled it if your graphics board went bad. If it didn't, then obviously you didn't need to be part of the recall. I thought certain graphic boards that were no. in a certain serial number... Uh, were recalled, well, been. and been. they just didn't take advantage of it. It, it. Anyway, it was beyond that period, so yeah, it didn't matter. But, but I will, I you know, I will, I will be very careful if I buy anything from eBay ever again. But I lucked out on this one, you know. Yeah, yeah, big time. And, and this I, is the second uh, uh, Apple <clears throat> product that you lucked out on. What, what's the uh, first? You, you, you blew, you blew up the one I sold you. And and they and they rebuilt it for you for uh, eight cents. No, yeah. no, they rebuilt it. That that cost me that cost me three hundred and fifty bucks for them to repair what they thought was wrong with it. Yeah, but it turned out it was also a hard drive or something else. Yeah, and so I took I took number I took it back, and they said because we didn't fix it the first time, whatever we do now to fix it will not cost you a penny. Right, you're an old hand at this. I'm an old hand at this. I've gotten a lot of uh, free stuff off of uh, off of uh, Apple. I shouldn't complain about them. Yeah. But then again, yeah. their computers keep breaking. So what can I say? You know. You got to stop plugging like an them into yeah. the bad sockets. Yeah. Mm. Somebody just wrote wrote here. Hey Ray, how's the Volkswagen? Uh oh, I had to. I sold it for twenty. Sold it back to Volkswagen for twenty six thousand five hundred dollars. How much was it new? Uh, about thirty two. Wow. And, and, and I got it for free. I got. I, got, I inherited it. So I made twenty six thousand. I used the car for free for four years, and then I got a check for twenty six thousand four hundred dollars. Oh, that's, that's even better than Alex. That's deal. better than my yeah. deal for crying yeah. out loud. Where, where, where do I get in on something <laughs> like that? And then we bought a new Mazda for thirty three thousand dollars. Yeah. 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 So why do you yeah. hate America so bad? Who me? Yeah. Why not buy an American car? 
Oh, I don't hate America. Oh, oh, because I didn't buy it in America? Because I bought a Mazda? You know why I don't yeah. buy it? Why I wouldn't They're buy it? probably them? made in America. The reason I, I wouldn't. I think they are. I bought a Dodge and did the same thing. I turned it back in on a lemon. Yeah. <laughs> Dodge truck. Our, our, I had to replace our, the rotors you know, on it every 3,000 miles. Well, mine was because of that lawsuit on the diesel engines that folks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They lied about the. So I just uh, I drove it until a week before I had to turn it in, and then I turned it in because they were going to pay me the same amount of money anyway. So I figured I might as well use it for free for another year. Well, I got a <laughs> lawyer, and then he he put the suit out, and then he told me to keep driving it, and I kept driving it for about a year. He took it back, and then when he finally got them to take it back, I'd been driving. For a year didn't make any payments on it and he got me another uh i think it was 1600 bucks back plus all the payments i made on it so basically it was a free car for two years mm -hmm. plus 1600 bucks did, did they there try to screw your credit up if you weren't oh hell payments? no no oh. and then i put a little put a little uh, card underneath the uh, mat so that the next guy that got the car if they ever t tore the carpet out i told them that they had bought a lemon <laughs> oh, oh wow. wow! So if Who anybody the ever pulled the carpet out, they'd find this card under there. You just bought a lemon. You're gonna buy rotors for the rest of your life. Yeah, rotors can be replaced though. Yeah, well, they can, but not every three thousand miles. I was doing them every time I changed the oil, because the calipers never closed. They had a problem with the calipers, and they were never closing, and they were always heating up. And then yeah. when they would heat up, they would warp. And you'd get a shimmy, and they could never figure out why they wouldn't back so off. So they didn't replace the calipers. They replaced the calipers, and then the and then the spindles would go bad, and it was really a bad thing with the front end. It was the the Dakota with the heavy front end. Now, and I think if they, they had over over engineered the front end. If you paid for the for the uh, rotors once, and then three thousand miles later they went bad, aren't they uh, covered under warranty? Did you have to yeah. pay them yeah, each time? Yeah, they were, and they yeah. and the the guy at the dealership always paid for them. Yeah. But you know, once you do it three times, you Lemon know, and wall. I go in there and I go, hey, you know, they're they're warped again. And they go, okay, hey, so, well, we'll place them. So Midas is a national company, right? Midas, yeah. Muffler, yeah, and mm -hmm. brakes. So I went there to get brakes redone on my car. I had my car for like five years, and they started finally going bad. And I went there because hey, they had lifetime warranty, you know. And then uh, as soon as I got my brakes redone there, I'm going in there every year for new pads on my brakes because they start squealing. And the guy's like, oh, well, your wife is driving it. She's really hard on the brakes, huh? And I'm like, no, the same car I've been driving for six years. And I, as soon as I get brakes redone by you guys, I'm coming in every year for new pads. And, you know, that, that's, I would tell people, spend the, a little bit extra money, go to the dealership and get, right. you know, was OEM, you know, original manufacturer parts put on your freaking car. You know, this is so much worth it. Yeah, so I, I had I had a Jeep Cherokee and uh, I got a, I, I get a lot of windshield cracks. You know, things bounce up off the freeway. And uh, th and this car seemed to be susceptible to it. And so what ended up happening was I went to this place, and uh, if you bought a windshield from them, you you were covered for life for windshields. And I I was getting about a windshield uh, every every six months, uh, you know, because rocks would come up and they'd crack it. When I finally sold the thing, you know, I felt bad that uh, the, the the warranty didn't. Uh, didn't pass over to the new person, but the, yeah. that has no. That's nothing. That's not mechanical. That's you know. Yeah, I know, but it was it was the that. warranty from that windshield. Yeah, but maker. you're putting a lot of miles on it. I mean, yeah, you're yeah. driving a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Because I drove a lot too, and it, you, you pick up a lot of rocks on the highway. Yeah, uh, right now I drive something that's shaped like a brick, and uh, uh, I'm constantly getting the. Uh, once I had to get a new yeah. windshield, it's and the then angle, the windshield. I, yeah, too. I must have. 25 visits to the guy that puts the glue in there. To, uh, yeah. Hey, hey Phil, Chip. what kind of car is that you have? I love that car. I forgot uh, what it a, is. It's a Toyota FJ Cruiser. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those, will get, those will do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like a brick on wheels. Hey, it's like <laughs> yeah. an army. You know, you guys, you guys are in an area that I know nothing about anymore because mm. I have not owned a car. Since when did I move? I guess since uh, 2004. 
I that's a big a savings. Yeah, I, I haven't owned a car because, uh, number one, I've had no reason to own a car. I mean, what do I do uh, in, in owning a car in New York City? I, I mean, Jeff knows what I'm talking about. You know, you park it. What, what you park it? The parking's going to cost you seven hundred bucks a month. It's not only that. Whoa. I had a friend that had a car in New York. Uh, he was paying a, a lot of money to park it, but he had to call twenty four hours in advance to have the car brought out so he could use it. So it's ah, not like he could just wow. get in the car and go someplace. He had to make a reservation to get his car. Get his car out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That happened. So I mean, so I I have not had a car since two thousand four, and I was a guy, you know, that had 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 a wow. car all the time. At one point, I had like two cars. You know, uh, I mean, I couldn't think about living without a car, and and now I I haven't lived with one for four for since I think two thousand four when I moved out to New York. Mm. And I sold my car. Either Patrick's got his hand up or he's frozen. Oh yeah, Patrick. Patrick, uh, he's frozen. I think Patrick he's frozen. has frozen. Oh, he's frozen. He had his yeah. hand up for That's so what happened so to me. Long he's locked. <laughs> He had his hand up so long he froze. He's just bored to death. Well, that's the other problem. It. That's the other problem with this with this new Skype is that I can't see when people are raising their hands. Let me see if I can yeah. call him back. Let me see if I. Uh, this is this is not nice. I, Poor guy got locked up. I don't. That's want, a cool way to get locked up. Though. Huh? What do you mean? No, so, I, I wanted to get locked up like that, but uh, mm -hmm. you have to you have to cut out just well, the, that's the way we'll, the right re time. we'll always remember him. Um, 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 uh, it's uh, oh god, Patrick. Let me see, Patrick. Uh, this he's YouTube's under uh, Pat. Uh, no. Okay, let me try calling him and see what happens. Let me see if he if he hears me calling him. He may have hung up because I didn't uh, recognize him. No, either, he wouldn't do that. Either that or he got frozen in that uh, particular... It says Patrick Blasick is unavailable. Hmm. Well, he might be trying to call back, too. He might be having problems. What, what is that thing? Buddha? What? Uh, that, that, oh, that Thai... Uh, Ray's got some Thai thing that he... Oh, that, so he could leave the room and there was something in his place. Saved. Or maybe Patrick left because he's watching the Bucks that he hates so much. So they they're winning the uh, basketball championships. Yeah. Well, I, uh, uh, Patrick, if if uh, if we offended you by not going to you, I'm I'm sorry. I feel bad about it. Hey, that. Uh, Patrick, I don't think can get offended. Some of the things right? that you've called him, and that doesn't. <laughs> no, no, him. I haven't called. I haven't called him anything. I, uh, you're oh, crippled. Yeah, yeah. Our, uh, you get, you, uh, mascot. Hood yeah. ornament. Hood uh, ornament. <laughs> well, I know I consider him the mascot of the show. Here we go. Here he comes back again. Yeah. Uh, did he have a problem? Well, let's see here. Patrick got uh, lost here. Let me see if he there comes he back. You froze and, in and, this And there position. he is. Uh, hello, Patrick. <laughs> Welcome back. He was talking about cars. Where, What happened to you? Restart everything because I everything just froze on me. Oh geez. See, that's a, it's this new wonderful Skype, folks. We really love him. Uh, he don't lives we? in a state with very cold weather. Yeah. Anyway, Patrick, <laughs> well, it does, it you does got that frozen. To me too, but if you just ride it out, it'll yeah. come back. You got yeah. frozen, but your hand was up. So right. I. So yeah. is there, so was there something you were ready to say that we didn't get around to? Uh, what are you guys talking about? We're talking, talking about, about cars. cars and you froze. We're still talking about cars. Okay, well. No, 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 that's one you froze. I suggest, Alex, um, I'm picking up my new car tomorrow. Oh, that congratulations. Todd, you can split the payment with me, and then it'll be like you have a new car. Uh, what are you getting? Another Impala or, uh, well, uh, not Impala, Malibu? Malibu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Malibu. I love that car. Now, that has to be fitted out for you, right? Well, it there's handful of it, but anybody can drive it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially anybody can pay for it too, huh? Yeah, that's true. So that's why I'm offering. If Alex is missing owning a car, he can pay for half. Then he can come to Wisconsin and and drive it. Well, there you how, go. How, how how much is this car costing you? Uh, it'd be about three thirty a month. Oh, oh, that's not bad. But it's not equal in uh, total dollars. 
I don't know, time four years. No, no. Oh, oh, you leased it? Yeah. Okay, they don't have a total value thirty thousand. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 call me old fashioned, okay? But somewhere along the line, they got into this whole leasing deal, and I just I oh I, I always owned my own cars, and when I went to get a second car, my business manager said you're better off to lease it for the tax purposes. All right. I I put too many miles on to lease. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm sitting there counting the miles I'm using because I'm living in California, right. you know, right. and you can use up. Uh, so I used to like alternate cars between the, <laughs> be, between my sports car and between this car because I didn't want to use up the 36,000 miles over the three years. That's the warranty. What about the... No, that uh, wasn't the warranty. 15,000 miles no. or 10,000 miles no. a year, depending no. on the car. No, no, lease. no. I'm telling you, it, it was 36,000 miles over a three-year period. Oh, you, so, okay. So it was 12,000 miles 12, 000, a year. Right, right. Uh, but if I used, you know, if I used all 36 in the first year, then I just wouldn't drive it right. at all. But that drove me crazy because in California, I mean, I... I had a girlfriend who once used to think I was cheating on her because she used to check my speedometer and, <laughs> and couldn't believe the amount of mileage I put on my car. And what I put on my car was uh, phenomenal. I mean, because I would use it to go everywhere and do everything, and I liked using the car. And now I, here I I've got a car that doesn't want me to use it. Otherwise, it's going to cost me like, what, a buck a mile after that 20, or something? Yeah, 25 really cents. But you. you know what it is? Uh, I, I had to release, uh, I bought a Mercedes in 98. I released it three times mm -hmm. and then I finally bought it because I had so many miles. I couldn't turn it in. Patrick's got his hand up. I don't want him frozen that way. Well, the, the, <laughs> for me, um, even where I used to work, it was still only 11 miles from where I lived. Um, and then when I moved in with my ex, it only went to 17 miles. So I would well within, you know, the, the, um, the mileage, no matter what, so it just made sense for me, um, you know, uh, money-wise. And then this last car, because I've been freelancing from home. Write it off. Put on, I'm going to turn it in tomorrow with a grand total of 8,000 one hundred and twenty some miles. Wow, it's still new. Yeah, and I've had it for four years. Yeah. So, Tony, I mean, do you do you have a car, Tony? Actually, no. I had my driver's license years ago. I drove a little bit, but I haven't driven in a while. I'm thinking about getting a refresher course. I don't want to scare you though, but I was telling Jackie I might take a refresher course in the summer. Yeah, just, just to brush up on my driving. I wonder if I, I still know how to drive. Yeah. You think I could, I think I, you think I could pick it up again if I get a couple of classes? No. Oh, no, please stay off the road. You're asking, forget it. Well, my license is up for renewal this year. They're not going to make me take a driving test, are they? They might no. make you take I, an I, eye I, test or something. I, I never had to take it. Well, no, Believe it or not, my eye test, they always make license. it. Take. She's legally blind. What, what are you saying? <laughs> Jeff is giving me a look. Jeff? I was thinking that if you get to be a certain age, yeah. you have to be retested. When you but, get yeah. in California, when you get to a certain age, you have to, yeah. you have to yeah. take a test. I don't know where well, I can. It do depends it. upon what state does it. Yeah. New York didn't. I just renewed it by mail. You know, back in the cop days, if I pulled somebody over, especially if they were older and I wanted to, I could write a thing up and make them retest. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So they, they follow it as a volunteer cop, you could pull people over? I was a level one, I had full police powers. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, that's scary. Uh, Jeff, Why didn't they pay you? But Jeff, there isn't a. Uh, there, I never applied to become a regular. There isn't oh, a, a Jeff. There isn't a law like that in New York, is there? I don't think so. But yeah, yes. yeah. I think I all think I have to do is I have to take an eye test. You know. That's it was a big it's controversy. It's called yeah, a reexamination. Yeah. You know, you got to you got to say after I thought seventy two well, or seventy five, you had to take a driver test afterwards every uh, four yeah, I'm years. Not, I'm not sure about that in California, but uh, it, it's it was called a reexamination, and I, you know, I had to have some reason. You know, like the the person got in an accident. I, I don't or, know what uh, if I or, if, or they if, ran up over a curb or or something. You know, uh, hell in New York, just tell them you're going to drive a cab. You no, know, no. If if I were to get a um, um, a um, 
You don't have to be tested. I don't know where I get a car to be tested in. You rent one. You just rent one. You rent you you know, one. I mean, it, but then you got to have a license to rent. Or use Shecky's car. Uh, you could ask. Uh, yeah, I guess. Anyway. You uh, to, I'm just going to take a couple of refreshers courses, I think, maybe in July or August. Well, How I, hard can it be? I mean, it's all right. I tell you, that, that was the weirdest thing. One time I went to Mexico, and I was there for a week, and I'm driving a, a golf cart all week long in the resort. Uh, I got back home and I jumped into my car and I'm just expecting it to be like the golf cart. And it was not. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't, I, I don't think I, I, you, you've never heard of having to take a test at 80, have you, or 79? I, I think mm-hmm. they have to in, have in some York? laws, but uh, huh? they, no, I thought it was after seventy-five. You have to. No, take a they, road I think test. I think it's with cause. It's what I was able to do by writing some sort of citation. I don't remember what. My it mom was. had to. Well, I can yeah. tell you one but thing, Alex. Eighty something. Yeah. Yeah. Before my father passed away, my brother renewed his license, and he died at eighty-one or 80, 81. and he was, he was it was after seventy-five. He renewed it. He never had to take his driver's test. Yeah. Okay. In New York. So, Depends on the state. In New York. I, yeah. 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 So, uh, well, I, I I don't care. You know, and then I just won't drive. You know? Unless Phil pulls over into level one. <laughs> yeah. Well, well you're in a city that's got good transit. You know, you, you can get around. Yeah, but I mean, I'd like to have a license so that if I go to Europe, I can drive around. You know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So you don't want to drive around here, but you'll drive around in Europe. I, a, I learned how to park a car in New York City. You know, I could fit a 21 foot Cadillac in a 20 foot spot. Oh, I was I was I, I was I was better than you. I could do it in a 19 foot spot. <laughs> And sing that tune. I was very very good at parking and getting it the on the first shot too. Yeah. Yeah, because I had the whole the whole. Uh, there's a there's a thing you got to know how to do, folks, and that is you pull up to the car that's in front and get your window right your mirror. even with his, the, yeah. or the mirrors even with each other, and then just crank it and you're right in there, you know. Yeah, right it's in. physics. I could parallel physics. park a 53 foot truck and trailer. Really? Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, that, that, that. yeah, backing up uh, uh, one of those trucks and trailers. I never was good at backing That's up uh, really, trucks really hard and trailers. It's easier <laughs> to do a. It's easy. It's really easier to do a fifty-three foot trailer than it is a twenty-eight foot trailer. Yeah, you just push everything out of your way. <laughs> there <Yeah>. you go. <laughs> you know, the trailer is easier. It's, it's, you don't know you hit it. It's so far you down. You just the road. don't care what the car looks like behind you. Well, well I have to take my. I. I am going to go see my. Eye doctor on Tuesday, and I'm bringing with me a thing for the DMV so he can just pre say what I have to have. If he feels I need glasses, then I'll get glasses, but have him uh, fill out this thing so that when I go in December or prior to that and uh, and get it, uh, I can. Um, I well, can't. I thought, uh, I you, thought you had the uh, the thing that you got 2020 vision now. No, 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 no. Far vision is different than you know. You know. well, uh, no, you don't, oh, no, you don't, just because you've had it, just not because LASIK, no, the other thing, cataract, just because you, yeah, but that doesn't mean you get twenty twenty. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can, I do. I no, I mean it improves your vision, but you know, I mean, uh, I, I just want to make sure th- from him that I can pass an eye test, and as long mm-hmm. as I'm there, he may as well fill this thing out saying I have, and if I haven't. Then I want to have the prescription. Still fill it out. I, no, no, <laughs> and I want to. That's smart ha- because I, I can't pass the secretary. In Michigan, it's called secretary, secretary of State. Other states, DMV. I can't pass their eye exam. I have to go to an eye doctor every single time, and they even tell me, even non-corrected, you could, should be able to pass their test. But the test they give is a really shitty test. You no, know, but all, all I have to do English? is if, if he if he feels I need uh, gla- if uh, I need if I need glasses for. F- for that kind of vision now, he'll give me a prescription for it, and then they'll just simply say you have to wear glasses. Corrective lenses. You have to wear corrective yeah. lenses, you know. But I'm going to have him do that so in advance of me going in in December uh, to get it, you know, get it taken care of. Patrick's got his hand up. I wonder if he has to do something special for yeah. uh, y- his yes, thing. Yes, Patrick. What, Patrick? I was just going to say, um, this last time I went to the DMV, which was uh, this past summer, mm-hmm. it was a perfect experience, no problems. 
they had adjusted an issue they had from the prior couple of years when I went. Mm -hmm. So I was in the wheelchair, and I've been in the wheelchair for years, and I've had a few driver's licenses since, and they always had a movable camera. Well, they switched it up at the DMV I went to, where it there was a wall now that you had to stand up again. <laughs> so far, and this woman was yelling at me that I'm not backed up far enough because I'm not in the frame of the camera, and I said, lady, come out here. You can see my wheels are up against the damn wall. I can't get any further back. Did she call the police? Come off, and finally somebody came and they had to have some tech unscrew the camera from the thing and then like i said this last time uh i should okay, just give you a telephone book they fixed it well what, what? Uh, he couldn't get far enough back that was right. the problem they said they should have gave him a telephone book yeah but he didn't have to, to get down. high he didn't have to get higher he had to get back further yeah i had to get back further because i even with the wheel there's still another probably foot and a half two feet that i needed to be able to get back so and their camera couldn't tilt. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, a tech had to come and fix it. So this last time I went, they must have made adjustments for cripples because there was no wall anymore. It was a curtain that could be moved if needed. So, uh, yeah, that, that gets to be a pain in the ass every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, they're, the, they're designed for the masses. They're not designed for... Anybody with any type of need at all. Back yeah. in the late seventies, early eighties, they took my picture. I stuck my tongue out, and the gal let it go. Uh, you know, and so my driver's license had me on it with my <laughs> with my <Whoa>. tongue out. <laughs> it was the only time I was able to get away with it. Really? In Arizona, they won't let you smile. No. I always smiled in my Texas driver's license, but in Arizona, they wouldn't let me smile. Uh, the humidity's too low. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what have we learned? Alex isn't going to be able to get his license renewed. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I were. If, I don't think that's a problem here in New York, actually. No, you'll be fine, Alex. Yeah, yeah but just but, get an ID, not a license. But, but, but I, I just don't know if I know how if I know how to drive anymore. You know, I mean, oh, I mean, don't. I know I've driven all my life and I know I can, I can get in a car tomorrow and probably drive it just fine. But there's a certain part of me that fears it. Didn't you yeah. drive up to Vermont or something a couple, yeah, a couple years of ago? years ago? Yeah. yeah hey, what did you say when people asked about somebody and you didn't know where they were? What? You said like, like they died in a fiery car crash in upstate New York or something. Oh, no, that's that was uh, number nine. Uh, Paul nine. McCartney, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 somebody asked about somebody, and oh, they, uh, no, yeah. no, there was this, there was this person I didn't like, and Everybody somebody called somebody. me on the air and said, "Whatever happened to so and so?" And I said, "She died in a fiery crash, a uh, car crash upstate, on the Taconic." Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> which of course wasn't true, but this person yeah. was mad at me. Oh, was they were they <laughs> mad at me because people so were calling her house to see if she was okay. You know, oh, well, at least you had listeners back then. Well, yeah, I don't have to worry about it oh, now. I could do it to anybody and not now. have to worry about the problem at all. <laughs> anyway, let me start the theme here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like yeah. a, it's like a relief, right, Charles? Charlie? Anyway, yeah. hey, listen, all of you, thank you. It's been been a nice evening. It's been you know rather uneventful. We didn't have to talk about Skype all night and, and problems that people were having. And and look, Ray is still happening. He reinstalled his Skype and everything's fine. And uh, I want to thank Charlie and I want to thank uh, Phil and I want to thank uh, Jason and I want to thank, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> Tony. Tony. I want to thank... Uh, Oh God! I'm just. We out want of you here. to have a good time on Tuesday. Well, you know, yeah. really He's enjoy yourself. Yeah, Ray, yeah. thank you, yeah, thank you, Jeff, thank you, Patrick, thank you, Kevin. Got them all. 
Oh, uh, boy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to pass the uh, the group test trying to figure out who everybody is when I go in to get my uh, next uh, license. Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I will give a big wave goodbye back, okay? There they are. That's the lovely and attractive citizen panel who, if I hang up on them, see, you notice I'm not in sync right now, but watch what happens when I hang up on them. This will show you how shitty Skype is. Now you see how I'm, all of a sudden, I'm in sync. Go figure that one out. Anyway. Uh, that's it for us tonight. Uh, uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the uh, intersection, which will be coming around next over most of the same station. And uh, then I'll be back after Damian Chaplin does the exchange uh, on Wednesday. But on Tuesday, he'll be back. I just won't be here on Tuesday because I'm taking the night off. Oh, gee, Alex, you don't deserve it. Anyway, I'm taking the night off and... Uh, uh, all of you out there uh, can enjoy the two shows that will be here on Tuesday night. I'll see you again Wednesday night, same time. Same station in life, and in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>